our train towards those playoffs. Five rounds to go, the run-in is firmly underway, and of course a couple of sides tonight with big ambitions and with attack deep in their veins. Bristol with just one change to their lineup after their scrapping win over Bath at the wreck last week. Joe Batley fit again, and he returns at lock to partner Chris Vui. The front row and the back rows remain from a week ago with Sam Jeffries finally getting a run at blindside after his injury troubles. The influential Stephen Luatua missed out at the wreck due to a trip home to New Zealand for family reasons. He's on the bench tonight. The side once again captained by Harry Randall from scrum half with that exciting South Pacific emphasis in the three quarters. Semi Randra, man of the match and providing the much needed entertainment last time out. He's hoping now Lango, Pietau and Ibitoye see plenty of ball. Saints depleted and frustrated that the likes of Mitchell, Ribbons and Freeman haven't been released by England this week. All lightly raced or indeed unused in the Six Nations so far. They do have Sam Matavesi returning at hooker, though he's back for a first outing in a couple of months. Sam Graham continues to deputise for the injured Juano Augustus at number eight, and there's no Ludlam or Laws, of course. Callum Braley has scored in each of the last two rounds. He's paired at nine with Finn Smith. The back three, bit of an issue in terms of availability. Skosan and Collins on the wings. 20-year-old prospect George Hendy at full-back with George Furbank out injured. Understandably, a lot of chat ahead of this game is about the attacking prowess of the backs, but a lot of both sides' attack starts with a little bust, a break of the line or a little dent of the line. The two second rows, Salakai Lotto and Vui, both very adept at that, really good at getting their hands free in the contact, getting that offload away and sparking a, an attack for the backs to use. My head to head's more about not the dent of the back line, but creating a canyon. Both 13s, Radrandra, and Dingwall are sensational in attack. When they when they click, their back line really performs, and these guys will be pivotal this evening. That's a, a terrific matchup, isn't it? And one, of course, of two very much informed players, Randrandra, as we know, turned it on at the wreck in uh, just a couple of small highlights, but otherwise rather a, a turgid game, it must be said. And Fraser Dingwall is doing great things for Northampton at the moment. Over the Bears with a final huddle, putting together a little run after squeezing past Bath last week, getting the better of Newcastle the week before that. They are still in the playoff running. Remarkable, isn't it, to be talking that way, given that they lie ninth in the table. But that is just testament to the competitive nature of this league and the incredibly intense nature of that chasing pack. Northampton on a roll right now. Three Premiership wins in a row. Tigers, Sale, Gloucester, all seen off recently. As Phil Dyson's side launched that late season playoff push, the confidence is high. But they have only won a couple of away games in the league this season. And Ben, as we know, they're missing some, some really key men to both England and injury at the moment. Yeah, particularly in that pack three. Some good players in there, but a little bit of an experience as well. But Everyone has challenges through the season, everyone has injury problems. You want your players to go away for international duty. It's so important how teams get through this period with ambitions of going on to the playoffs. The Bears led out by Harry Randall, seconds. Premiership game in a row in charge. And no doubt delighted to have the likes of Piatau and Rantrandra and now Lango in amongst his back division. We've heard about the, the leadership role that he has embraced in recent weeks and months. They are just eight points off fourth. It's a, a long shot as it stands, that top four slot. And I think they know, we know, they lose tonight. It's pretty much curtains as far as that ambition is concerned, Austin. Yeah, you'd think it's a, well, it's an uphill battle as it is now, but it turns into a mountain if they don't win this evening. Conversely, if Saints can pull off a five-pointer, they have to be bang on favourites for third place. Our referee tonight, Ian Tempest. Pat Lamb 
settling into position. Sorry, AJ, I'll let you know when. About 10 seconds, I think, man. And a, a terrific About match 10, in prospect between a couple of sides that really do love but to attack. It's yeah. going to be fascinating to see whether okay, the ready. various Time different lads, priorities please. for these okay, both AJ, sides on, dictate please, please. that that is the approach or whether there is a more Sorry, cautious offering. Either way, we are underway. And it's sent into the Northampton half by AJ McGinty. Callum Braley busying himself at the base for Northampton. No Alex Mitchell and no Tom James available at the moment for Saints. So they've got a, a raw youngster, Jake Garside, in that number 20 shirt this evening. 21 shirt, I should say, on the bench. Here's McGinty trying to probe for openings. Driven up by James Williams and a first sight of Randrandra. And even with two men around him, right on that gain line, still trying to free the arms. Lahif, driven back by the aggressive defending of Northampton. Taken by Braley, this is Hendy. Brought in at, uh, at fullback today, his fourth Premiership outing. First since October for the 20-year-old. Play the ball, he's nowhere near it. Northampton really want to keep the ball on the field. The field, they'll get opportunities for their attack. The more the ball's in play. And, uh, Charles Piatel obviously thinks differently. I'm not sure that went exactly where he wanted. Not his best. Going to be featuring in the extensive highlight reel of Charles Piatau, that one. Everything else with that left foot, though, is just magical, isn't it? I don't think there's been a better <laughs> left foot stepper. Maybe Jason Robinson, but it's still close. Here's Sam Matabesi for Northampton. He's been out recently, but a free kick awarded to the Bears. So not Coming a glorious through. return to action after two months for the Fijian. 15, please. Just a free kick, so this one could well go up in the air. And AJ McGinty just saying to his forwards, don't stand on the touchline side. Get into midfield. And tester for Hendy, maybe. Spiral bomb. He was practicing these in the warm up, he was catching them quite well. It's a bit too far, that one. And taken with um, efficiency by oh, he's got Cardinal it. Skosan. That's a 22, I think. It lands in field, but then as it goes out, it's just a choice of where it goes. The um, touch judge for the time being. No, that's definitely a 50 I'm 22. Sure. I think I think otherwise. Definitely 100%. It's not 100%. Okay, 98. <laughs> <laughs> the officials are in disagreement, Austin, as uh, Magnus Bradbury carries it up for it's Bristol. It's 100% to 70% of the time. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good kick, whatever. In comes Skosan, demanding that ball from the air, and Ibatoye is left. Empty handed, carried up now by Scott Young. No 50 22. And Chase Braley once again to the air. Randall thinking about it. Vui oh. tapping it backwards. Randall tidying and freeing up Piertau with a really long pass that takes out a number of defenders. Three men around Piertau. And fired away. Oh, good tackle. Good tackle. Good tackle. In. Ian Tempest in agreement. Graham. User. He got a sense in the interview before the game that he was up for it. Don't ask me any more questions. He's um, been very patient, okay, hasn't he, it, Sam Graham? He's really had to work for his opportunities. No Augustus, no Ludlam. And occupying that number eight shirt, real chance for him. Taken by Collins, Hendy again. Oh, that's a little high from Randrandra. I think Randrandra just wants to... Put his own physicality on the game, maybe. Didn't like being knocked backwards. Doesn't happen very often. Collins siding through and getting the hands free brilliantly. Finn Smith with options. Back, Tapped over the top by Ibatoye. Lovely inside ball for Skosan, provided by Hutchinson. And here's Moon. And Northampton setting up camp inside the Bears 22. Little tip on. Lovely from Matavesi to Scott Young. Braley using Coles. Moon, Salakai Lotto, Bristol's improved defence being put right to the test here, but they've stolen the ball. 
I'll start using. And an almighty relief given the momentum that was starting to build. Here's Batley for Bristol. That's that long and that long. OK, thank you. On side to start on. Yeah. Yeah. Advantage over. Randall. To touch. Oh, loads in that passage of play, wasn't it? Timo has checked the Randrandra tackle. Oh. He's happy with it. <laughs> Handy was already Same quite time. low, wasn't he, in uh, in Randrandra's defence. However, this is Matavesi for Northampton. Lahif wrestles him backwards. Turns, delivers. Smith attacks the line. Lovely pass out wide for Skosan. Chips over the top and uh, having to be on red alert here in the backfield. Saints have started really well, haven't they? Got into their rhythm very early. That confidence over the last few weeks just showing itself and a lack of hesitation. Everyone seems to be on the same page. And they're finding a little bit of space. The Bears will be happy that the game's opening up because they'll feel they can match this but certainly Northampton the better first five minutes what is impressive about them is their precision everything they're doing catching high balls in the backfield they're rook clear out they're tackling offloading the passing it's all on the money it's a sign of a team that's playing with a lot of confidence advantage offside Boy, by those three oh. premiership wins in a row and they're working this gain line pretty effectively at the moment but off. the whistle has been blown by Ian Tempest who wants a word come here This player speaks like that again. Yeah. He'll be off the field. Thank you, Buckton. Offside. It's actually Maxwell Heath that gave away Free the initial post, penalty. Yeah. Just straight post offside, post. and rather than working his socks off to get back and back pedal, just realised he is offside and hesitated, and thought about it too long. And the ball came out. The referee had no option really. Never got back, mate. Again. So an opportunity for Smith, who has been in excellent kicking form. He's been in excellent form. 18 points on his Saints debut against the Bears back in October. And as we were mentioning in advance of this match, he has just bedded in so quickly to his new club. Yeah, it's a good start for Saints. Three points on the ball, but what they have been doing really well, Ali, is and they've been doing this all season, is attacking the first three defenders. You watch Moon, what he does to his opposite number, he just gets stuck into Vui in his eye line, but he bounces his outside shoulder, just knocks him slightly off. That creates the break. They're so good at taking the ball to the line, particularly through Dingwall and Hutchinson, and really making defenders put both their heels down. That was a good example of it there. Led to the three points. Nicely gathered in by Coles. Such an athletic okay, lot. Use. Chases on. And then once again, Piatau waiting in the backfield. Batley. And there comes that Radranda link again. Look, he's just stood in behind. Tries to get to the outside. Yeah, lovely on that outside arc. And Ibitoye now. Back at into the traffic. <coughs> Back awaits. McGinty. Williams. Got a width on this and sent onwards by Jeffries to now Lango. Try last week against Bath and Braley dismissed. Extra couple of metres gained and Jan Thomas is moving on to the ball now. Backley again carrying hard in these opening moments. Not the quick ball that Randall would like. Faka. McGinty absolutely finished. Big shot coming in from 
Sam Graham and uh, onwards they go. Shift on the floor. Release. And the penalty is Bristol's. Shift on the floor. Good from Thacker, that wasn't it. Speed of reaction as the ball bobbled out and then got the offload away to Piet out on his shoulder. Just looking about, we mentioned it before the game, Ali, the link between Close McGinty ball. and that man there, Radrandra. If he drops are, underneath, yeah. like directly behind him, as he is in this scenario, it just means it's an easy pass from McGinty. And all you're doing is you're giving a world-class player space to just pick and choose the outside. But watch what Dingwall does, he blitzes out the line. He almost gets it wrong, Dingwall, because if Radrandra keeps going there and he gets to the outside, then Saints defensively they would all have to step in. Skozan steps in. So it's really difficult to make the choice. Do you blitz out the line and try and stop him getting to your outside, or do you just stay connected and say, right, play, and I'll try and tackle you and concede ground? Very difficult defensive choice. I think Hutchinson's trying to get up so high that he has to step back in, but he still does him with a step. And once he does him with a step, because he's banked on him, cutting back inside can't really recover just that hitch step out of it still to go around a man who's really high in the field you almost have to have a he's got that has he yeah <laughs> skied it you almost, you almost have a scenario where you just have one defender that's not in your line and you say go man mark him blitz out the line so if it is Hutchison, it is Dingwall, doesn't matter, but don't stop, just keep running and make sure you get your hands on him, because if you stop him, you stop all of their wide play, and then you can start to flood the breakdown afterwards, so it's difficult defensively, as, we, as everyone's found out. His threat last week was running across the field like that against Bath, almost on just beating people on the outside arc. Northampton trying to take it away early, didn't work. Toy with lots to do, he's given the ball away and that could have been very dangerous indeed. I haven't got a knock on either, so Bristol ball. Touch is found and Bristol had possession, but a uh, hard yeah. in mouth moment there. I don't think McGinty wanted it for Ibitori, I think he was hoping that someone else would run oh onto God. it, but the pass was, too, pass was too short, it was a long ball to throw, he must have thrown it 30 metres. Here we go, he's just well, he's on the middle of the pitch, isn't he? So what's he throwing that? He's throwing that 35 metres. We saw last week as well, Ibitori doesn't want to go into touch, he'll throw the ball back inside, whatever, just doesn't want to get taken into touch. Jeffries with line-out ball. Use it. And here's Chris Vui. Captain the side through some of their campaign this season, captain of uh, summer in the November Internationals and setting this up for Randall. Touch. Go, 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 touch. Skosa, Hendy, Collins, really enjoyed himself in the latter yeah, stages yeah. last week, that's a ball and a half, Hutchinson now, threads it over the top, Randall having to scamper at high speed, and on red alert Randall here with goal. Hutchinson breathing down his neck. I think Dingwall might have been offside there from the kick, but nice play again, two wide passes, this goal is line. often on. Good defence, though, from Bristol, actually getting connected and getting up in that position. He's had a good start, Collins, hasn't he? I, I like him as a player, really like him. Great awareness, he's obviously got the, the pace and the, the stepping ability, but he also has a real awareness of where that space is to step into or use other people. No Freeman, Furbank, or slight home available, of course. So, uh, again, further opportunity for Collins, who's looked really bright. To the short side, go Northampton and Ethan Waller Never rumbles onwards and tumbles deeper still into the 22. A great shot, terrific from Fitz Harding and Max Laheef. <laughs> the counter ruck is strong as well, and Bristol have stolen Hang it. On. And they've dropped on that through Dingwall, Northampton, and now they're going to go again. Once more, launched wide by Hutchinson, Salakai Lotto. Brought down by Naolango. Matavesi barreling onwards, and Bristol are going to have to be careful here. Their defence is again under threat. And those first up tackles aren't quite doing the job for them. Back to the short side again. Smith. <laughs> Graham sets it up. Coles batters onwards, brought down by Jeffries. And a drive from Dingwall. Scott Young hit hard again by Fitzharding. 
smartly up in defence. Alex Moon, the latest to have a crack. Coles now. Harding again out of the line. No, no! Too long! Now potentially some width. And was that a clean gather? Referee happy enough, and onwards through Salakai Lotto. Hutchinson, though, in the process has come up in some pain. It's there for Braley. Skyson has a dart. 18th phase of possession now. Moon brought down by McGinty. And the penalty is Bristol's. Bradbury doing enough over the ball. It's outstanding defence from Bristol because they had a couple of little yeah, dabbles well, at the Jackal, so didn't quite come on, they didn't lose heart. The crucial thing for Bristol is to be able to get some line speed, slowing down Northampton's breakdown slightly because the play. times that Northampton be had quick ball, they won the collision. When they didn't, Bristol got off the line like that. Harding makes the tackle, gets back up, hooks it back, doesn't quite get the turnover. It bobbles back to Northampton's side, but here... They don't give up, hands the on the ball, fingers underneath it, lifting clearly, good picture for the referee. He's they get their just time. desserts. Serious. He's taking them off, I'll be told. We're playing on. Well, they've had to work so hard, haven't they, Bristol, as we see Hutchinson being patched up. They've made almost double the number of tackles, hair, the Bears, at this point. Sorry, lads, it's head. It's head injury. It's head. Time off, sorry. Tempo. It's head. Tempo. Yeah. I've had a look at it. It's not foul play, mate. Okay, that's fine. Thanks for that. Yeah. Just... Tempo. Yeah. Yeah, I've had a look at it. It's not foul play, mate. No, that's fine, mate. I've got you. So thank you. That's the voice of David Rose, our TMO. Oh. Just a heel in the head, isn't it, from yeah. Radranja Tempo, as he tries to skip the ball back. As, as that clean out comes, uh, the Bristol 13 just gets knocked backwards and his foot catches him. Oh, okay. that studs in the eye. Oh, hello. <clears throat> yeah, that's, um, no that's painful. Uh, Entirely unintentional, but nevertheless, the impact quite significant on Hutchinson. Are you going to be able to treat him because we've got blood if we need to? He's going to treat it on field, OK? Good start to the game, though, isn't it? I think what we saw from that phase there, if you just keep throwing long passes to forwards, they're going to crash in defensively, you're going to get... Like, as you, as you saw with Bristol, a really good defensive set and then eventually a turnover. Where they look more dangerous, I thought, was when you start to see Braley break a little bit. So it just slows the line speed down and it makes the eyes of the defence of the forwards from Bristol turn inwards rather than out to who they're going to be hitting. You've got to mix it up a little bit when you go multi-phase with short carries like that. Louis rises and a meaty old drive here from Bristol. It's just been pointed out, Fitz Harding's made 11 tackles already, which is a third of Bristol's entire tackles. That is extraordinary in, in 16 minutes. Incredible engine. You can be sure he'll be going strong at the 80th as well. Super fit. Very much one of those new breed of back rowers. Incredibly athletic. Own player for me. Up the goat. And Graham oh, I think it's, it's, it's own player. has hurt himself in the himself. process of gathering that. Yeah, Tempo's no foul play again, mate. I mean, knock on. Knock on. Yeah, thank you. Knock on, scrum. Knock on in the air. Scrum. Really, first proper attacking situation for Bristol he's, where he's, it's not he them trying to counter it, they're no, no trying team. to play That's off scrums. Scrum first set piece that they can really knock on wide, scrum. look to use something. And Randra just being given the message from Williams. He's going to slot in behind his centre partner. Down both sides, please. There's a lot of conversation in that midfield. And connectivity also with Charles Piertau, one player wider. They ran this play last week with Nalango coming off his wing, carrying into the midfield. Looks like they might do the same thing again. He's on his way, and here he comes. Nalango to the 10 metre line, quickly from Randall. And oh, this time the pirouette from Randra did not work. He left the ball behind. 
and Saints gather it and Finn Smith is looking to pin them back there's nobody in the backfield now Lango is on his way on the chase and just about got the bounce Braley obviously been doing his homework as well Oz saw the move and knew what was coming off it got in the eye line Randall just couldn't hold on to it enough he was looking to do exactly the same thing wasn't he Ben almost like turning his back to the to the goal line taking it on the swivel it's the same players last week exactly the same one that led to the try hold it yep that's where you do your homework that's where you tell your kids do your homework and things work out for you my daughters completely yes, ignore please. me when I say that. Life lessons from Austin Healy. Yep. Literally nobody tuned in expecting that this evening, Austin. Play on. Well, Here we are. <laughs> More fill them. Jeffries for Bristol. And Thacker. And a bit of width potentially runs Randra, just boxing and coxing and trying to suck in those defenders. He's sending Skosan on his way. He's crossed the gain line eventually. Randall for Batley, lovely inside ball for Fitzharding and he slipped the net and Harding's racing clear tackle is made by Smith really good one but Bristol now inside the 22 Williams, McGinty throws the dummy looked like Thacker might have been taken off the ball there with the break from Fitzharding Batley once more Randall oh. Makes absolutely sure. I think I heard Matabesi scream as he realised it left his post, left the door wide open for Randall. But what a break. Initially, the inside ball from Batley, absolutely superb. And then Fitz Harding, no look pass, leaves it on his shoulder. Harding rides the challenge, gets away, can't find support. They recycle. And then that one show and go, big dummy, and Matavesi steps. And Randall, such a live threat in and around that breakdown all week. If you're playing against Bristol, you say, watch Henry Randall show and go. <laughs> Scrum halves will love this, but forwards will hate it because they're in a great position. Matavesi's there at guard, the bodyguard's in position defensively, structured perfectly. But what you can't do is, as you said, Ben, leave your post. Every scrum half stream that well executed by that man. But that is going to make sleeping this evening for Matavesi very difficult. Genuinely on the rest, Mike heard him scream as he realized what a breakout this is. Bradbury just slows down a bit, delays the pass for Thacker. Thacker weaving in and out, oh! trying to take the outside. Was that forwards? Now Lango scampers through. Surely that went forwards in the release. Bears fans are on their feet. Celebrating, it's brilliant. <laughs> Apart from the question mark over Thacker's offload, as he felt, ball came out of the back of his hand, but was his hand moving forwards? He's not sure. <laughs> Look at the eyes. The eyes tell you something, do they it's, not? It's so close. I just watched it again. It is really close. What a brilliant break to set it up, though. Goes in between. Defensively, they went in a good place. How good is Thacker's reading of the play in open field? He goes from one side to the other, stays on his feet, almost goes all the way himself. That's forward for me. Finn Smith just doing enough to put a hand on Thacker's thigh and affect his balance. Show me best angle, please, yeah, Rosie. Show me the best angle. try, this must be conclusive. Oh, that's so upsetting, because it was a brilliant try, wasn't yeah. it? Great to watch, but uh, it surely will be ruled out. Yeah, more upset it's for that guy, because if he'd have stayed on his go. feet here, I think he might have gone all the way. Yeah, you can see the line What's on the, the field angle, doesn't help. It clearly goes forward out of the hands. So, Rosie, do you have an angle to show it coming out of the hands, please? Yeah, I've just showed that angle there that's coming up again now. It clearly goes forward out of the hands. This one here, Tempo. Yeah, yeah. It clearly goes forward, Tempo. No try. No, it's not forward. No try. Well, disappointment for lovers of fluid rugby, but the right decision here tonight.
nevertheless, Bristol seem to have flipped some sort of switch. What will be more concerning, Ben, for Saints is they looked a bit tired after this restart. Mark Defensively, look at them. They're a complete mess. There's no line. They're not together. They're all over the place. It's great. You've got it. I'm all for it people working as hard as they can but Braley's got to realise there that he's got slower men on the outside of him he can't afford to leave that bigger dog leg Bradbury finds it and then does really well to stay alive draw the last man just as enough and then Finn Smith gets beaten back on the inside and just gets that right hand up as he's falling off balance does enough to put him off if I was picking my sevens team of the season, my Gallagher Premiership sevens team, I might pit Thacker at hooker. Yeah. <laughs> well, as an illustration of his skills, that that was as good as it gets. Huge scrum from Bristol. Huge scrum. It's really good, isn't it, to overcome that disappointment from a forward pack just to say, right, let's go again, we'll get another opportunity. And they'll stick this in the corner with McGinty. An opportunity for the forwards to back up a huge scrum with a big line-out drive. Well, instructed no to see that man no one in front. calling the shots, rousing the troops. Second spell here, of course, having rejoined from Worcester and Pat Lamb, effusive in his praise about the, the impact he's made. Called it phenomenal. Very much the heart and soul of that Bears pack, Joe Batley. What a chance this is. Vui secures the ball for them. Thacker comes in. Might yet have his moment of glory. Off the legs, off the legs. Randall for Randrandra. McGinty. Not too many options outside him at that point. From static ball anyway. Vui to Thacker. And Hutchinson struggling to hold him. He's got within five. Out it comes. Great read. And Williams rolls close. Randall again pops it upwards. There it is. Thacker has it. The try is awarded. A little later than advertised as far as Harry Thacker is concerned, but Bristol riding the wave at Ashton Gate. That's been persistent, hasn't it, at both ends of the field from Bristol in attack to win that four, sorry, in defence to win that four back in their own 22. And then here, Thacker having a huge impact on this game, breaking tackles, getting half through, getting back to his feet, running that hard, aggressive line back against the ball. And dotting it down. There. AJ, you happy with him there? You happy with one there? Hendy had done really okay. well to stamp out, looked like he'd stopped the threat. But they didn't panic, Bristol. Your stats, mate, not mine, not mine. 13 tries in all competitions now for Harry Thacker this season, the most across the entirety of the league. And in 25 minutes tonight, he has given us something of a masterclass in the loose. Change being made by Bristol. Sibin Alago is coming off. And in his place, Johan Lloyd. Two Northampton yeah, no, players injured as well. It's Ethan Waller, but more alarmingly, leaving the field is Alex Coles. So. There goes Alex Coles. That's a head injury assessment, so Carl Wilkins is on for Northampton uh, in his place for the time being. This is Hendy for Northampton, who badly need a spark here. Finn Smith trying to provide it. Braley, Matavesi. And taken up now by Petch. No lift. Not now, no lift on the ball. Hutchinson. Salakai Lotto. Matavesi does well to cling on, but he's got Fitzharding to deal with as soon as he turns and faces the try line again Braley stealing important meters around the ruck Scott Young good defensive effort again it's Fitzharding monumental out, long time out. in defense so far this evening and tackle, lads, release, tackle, swiftly back to his feet and back into the, the defensive line again 
Hutchinson holds it back nicely. Bit of space here for Smith. Once again, into the midfield through Waller. Advantage, Sackler move. And now with a penalty advantage, Hutchinson. Just Saint's skill set to be able to go right to the line before pulling the ball back, holding that defender on his heels. Dingwall, Collins, Waller. Really has to be swift away from the base, but Bristol for the moment holding firm. Playing with that advantage here, Northampton. That's gone forwards, so they'll take that penalty. Yeah, that's been one of their issues, actually, that they've been splitting their attack. So they carry to the midfield, and then everybody goes, well, half the team goes to the open side, half to the short side, which is a lot easier defensively for Bristol. They put some good defensive sets, Bristol. But where Saints are very good is where they get all of their attacking players down one side of the field. Called to go for the corner there. Just wondered whether they'd take a little bit of the, the wind out of Bristol's sails. They're okay. certainly up at the moment, yeah, yeah. Bristol. Just thought they might take those three points on offer, but having gone there, the forwards now need to deliver. Though the right. kick's not gone no, as close as they would have wanted. Not, Ten not meters out. Kick. No, he could see That's Finn it. Smith apologising to his pack actually as he turned, having on, kicked that ball. It, it's a, it's a good. 14 metres out or so. Nevertheless, they have possession, and Matavesi is bringing in Dingwall. Another advantage from a high tackle. Northampton know they need to strike here. Braley. Salakai Lotto. Back to the short side, Smith. Moon. Blue shirts assembling in numbers here. And the ball just too slow to halt the charge of George Handy. And the ball is dislodged. Nice. And Ibatoy is hacking forwards. And they'll come back for that yeah. advantage from the high on the tackle. Lifter, and then high. Are there a better kick to the corner now with a tap and go? Babes is on the sideline now, just praying for some kind of magical play. What are we going Graham for retrieving his boot and uh, a decision to be though. made. Are we tapping going or? Sorry? <laughs> They're using this as a chance to draw breath, but... Um, boots. One sec, we'll put it back on. We've got well, understandably, Ian We've got Tempest is keen to okay, well, the keep this game moving. Okay. Yeah, just one second, let me go the way. You ready, Bristol? Time on. <coughs> wow. Show of the pass Lewis. from Waller there. They go. Scott Young tries to build up some sort of head of steam, but again, defence is tight from Williams. Bristol done a good job here to this point. Onside. Matt of AC. <coughs> advantage, offside. Wilkins, another advantage. Braley sends it wide. Skosan with lots to do, and Ibatoye straight upon him. It's an experience that you just don't need Time to do off, that. Harry. You're under the post. Take your time. Go again. Go three more times if you want. We've been down here when we have too many penalties. Too many penalties. Yeah. We've three advantages and now we've got a penalty here. Can next one goes big. Yeah, no problems, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna, do you want Seth? He's having the word. Do you want Seth? He's well, having the word. I thought about passing last time. Let's have a look now. A little discussion with Callum Braley. I'm going to put time back on, but just wait for To make sure they resource the okay, breakdown first, properly. Okay, Saints okay, nearly got turned yeah. over again there. It's a quick chat. You're on a warning. Time on. This time he does pass, and it's Scott Young who's stopped once more by Fitzharding. Fired away by Braley, though, and Patch is on his way. He's wriggling onwards. Let's go, Quinn. Release. Sam Graham goes to ground. Salakai Lotto teaming up with Dingwall and too many rolls with the try line within sight it was just too much in the eyes of Ian Tempest yeah Randrandra got a really good shot on Salakai Lotto dropped him immediately and that gave the Jacklers on the inside an opportunity to get into position Salakai Lotto felt that he was isolated there's the little hit 
drops him right at the feet. Is it Bradbury there? Yeah, Bradbury gets in on the ball, that one extra roll right in front of the referee. Bristol deal with it. The defence on the line was absolutely brilliant from Bradbury. Yeah, yeah. Helped by Jeffries as well. But there's so many, I'll show you in a sec, there's so many bodies and people to choose from. Salakai Lotto could have gone over the <laughs> yeah, under the fine. posts, but he picks exactly the right guy. Jordan Crane's the man in charge of the Bristol defence, and Pat Lamb referenced it pre-match, didn't he? The, the improvement that they feel they've made in that area has been significant. Fifth best defence in the league at this point. And the driving game, that's well set Got up. Right to blue. the fore, Thacker again, Red motoring onwards. Randall to the boots. Fine. Chase Fine. on from Johan Lloyd. Claimed by Collins. OK, thank you, Nine, use it. Carl, you've had it now. Comes Randall for this one. Pierre oh. Towell sensed an opportunity <laughs> and he somehow got clear. How has he done that? Pierre Towell charging onwards. Oh. Lovely little thing. The skills are ridiculous. The try is magnificent. Whatever you're doing right now, stand up and applaud Charles Pierre Towell. Oh, three ridiculous bits of skill from that man. He's been a star of this league for so long, had his injury problems, not quite been at his best, but that... Not many other players in world rugby can do this. First, the pirouette out of the tackle, uses his leg strength, the hard left-footed step, and then realises Randall's there, but he can't get the pass away, drops it onto his left boot. Randall does really well to get that big fend up on Hendy, make sure he can't be brought down, but this is filth. Look at that, oh, well, that's just ridiculous. And a hitch kick. And then a lovely little grubber that pops up perfectly at full tilt. I mean, that, this has everything. This try has almost everything you could possibly ask for. Houdini couldn't have deceived the crowd as much as he's just done. That was incredible off his left peg. What a pleasure. What an absolute pleasure to watch. <laughs> Probably deserved a slightly better conversion, yeah, but yeah. nevertheless, it's one thing let's open concentrate play. on the positive. It's one thing in open play beating people, but when you look how many people are in the traffic there, in that small area, there's 12 people. His body strength goes through. He's hidden behind the post now, but the sidestep, look how quickly it changes direction, and then he's away. The kick is sublime. You've got to give Randall a lot of credit, though, for the support line that he ran. That is a brilliant rugby union try. Taken in, taken in. I'm just beaming. OK, thank you, Nine, use it. Absolutely beaming. I thought he'd missed the I'm opportunity. Sorry. I saw Randall, thought he'd missed the opportunity of getting the ball to him. <laughs> and as regards to the support line, when you have players like Pierre Tower and Randrandra in your side, you, you just know you've got to Marie, run those lines, because at some point or other, it's coming your way. Yard. Just stay in the orbit. Brilliant, quite brilliant. Scott Young for Northampton, who badly <laughs> needs something in the next five minutes. Their balloon firmly popped here at Ashton Gate in this first half. <laughs> the ball goes their way, the they've first. gone beyond the ball in Marcus Bradbury, competing hard. Hands the floor, support the weight, and then back on ball. You go, yeah. Guys, you, we talk about brilliant skill, right? And Piatau was simply sensational, but that would not have arrived without a brilliant piece of defence. I'll just take you through it from Bradbury. Look underneath the post, he's got hardly any time to make a choice. He gets his body off Solitai uh, Lotto, gets to the outside, and then makes the hit. Now, I've stopped that twice. If we watch that at full speed from behind, you'll see just how difficult it is. So this is how fast it is. He reads the play, gets off Lotto, gets to the outside and makes the tackle. Jeffries as well in the tackle as well with him. I mean, just, I think, defensively, they've done a really amazing job there. And here's the try. First of all, he's got the power to step through a second row. Look, he's dragging a second row. He's 20 stone. Goes on the outside again, steps out of one more tackle, 
Here comes the hitch kick. Actually, he does well not to do the pass now because I think Randall would have been taken if he had thrown the pass. The fact that he puts it onto the foot brings both the defenders into That's him at the very really end not. and gives Randall the opportunity to finish in style. That step beat three people. Now, when you see him break, everyone goes, God, I've got to get there. And they all get wrong footed by a just genius. There's just so well, much to it, isn't it? There's so many different change. elements. You see yeah, him with his heads up, looking around, checking the options, assessing. It's like an onboard computer that is just fixing problems as he greets them. Trouble up ahead, player left, player right, thread it through. Well, Thanks for coming. Well, holding. Extraordinary. Just let the replacement on, please. Should we just talk about right, that try many? for the next five minutes? Five, five man. It was so good. OK. Time on, please. Sam Jeffries coming off. Got anyone decent to bring on? Oh, yeah. There were two. Steals the ball. Brilliant. Back from uh, okay, that's use it, please, a short now. spell in New Zealand. Stephen Luatua, due to uh, one or two family issues, so he's back and coming off the bench for for Sam Jeffries. Can someone else do man of the match tonight? Because it's it's almost becoming impossible straight Packers away. <laughs> this has fallen for Packer, and Bristol are on the move again. And Williams is picking out Ibitoye, who's trying to get round Hendy. And uh, the ball finds its way into touch. It, it feels as if tonight the Bears are kind of rediscovering themselves right here, right now. Yeah, lovely movement. It's amazing what confidence does for you as well. I said Ibatoya doesn't like to die with the ball going out. <coughs> Drops it back in field. Saints knock it out and they get the throw in. Run that ball through Lua Tua. Harding for Randall to McGinty. Randrandra pops it on its way and <laughs> this time Pietar slips into the challenge of Collins. Carried up by Fitz Harding. Good pass from Randrandra that to Pietar. Just managed to pull the ball out of harm's way. Out of the, the reach of the Bristol fullback, but he's going to slide this away to Stephen Luatua. And now it's a question of who he can link up with. Was that forward to Piertau? It was. Oh, was it? Although he can't argue again, he's already been told off for that, but this looked a little bit harsh. <laughs> that one was fine. Luatua just couldn't sort out who his best support player was, but lifts it up to. Peart out. Rosie. <coughs> just, said, no. just caught on the screen is a clear pullback. Yeah, it's a pullback off the ball. On Chris Vui. Okay, yeah, on Vui, yeah. Clear pullback on the support player. On Chris Vui. Just give me a mark, please. Just, just, just Wilkins, there, who pulls, Thanks, pulls him back. Such a good offload, this. No luck. It's going to be a penalty blow. Out to the pull outside. The Vui there. Is he pulled back? Yes, yeah. he is. Well, is there, just to the Bristol way. side of the halfway line, mate. Okay. <laughs> yeah. it's uh, is, that, in from touch. is that a pullback or is he just pull fighting to get back in front bin. of him? Okay. Pull back off the ball, halfway line. Oh. It's a pullback in the eyes of Ian Tempest and David okay, Rose and yeah. Carl Wilkins is, is punished on, for it. And Bristol have uh, a penalty as a consequence. Just just to reiterate, Oz, yeah, the, the significance of the line, sorry, the no sorry, look there yeah, from Pierre Tau. Quite obviously what it does is it draws both defenders onto him to free up the space, doesn't it? And if he'd looked that way, you'd be pretty sure the man on the outside is staying on the outside. Having been there on numerous occasions against very talented individuals on the right wing, yep. you just, you've got to bide your time. You've got to have so much trust with the guy on the inside who's going to make the tackle, otherwise you end up looking stupid like that. You're stepping into fresh air. It's a horrible place to defend. Nice, have they got one more in them? in this half, Bristol. It would be the bonus point try, of course, with three already chalked up. Two from Randall, one from Thacker. And it is the hooker who has it for Bristol here now. Rumbling on in effective fashion. Randall steering things, but he has it now. Sent through by Williams, and across they come. Northampton rescue no, things no, through Callum Braley. You're fine. You didn't play the man, you've gone to play the ball, but you're fine. Play on. Onside, lads. Wilkins putting in some important metres. Just do with a little release of pressure here, Northampton. 
Onside. Yes. Callum, don't use your hands, mate. Braley, he's got underneath that a little bit. And backwards from Harding. That's Where's that going to end up? It's gone forwards from Northampton, and Bristol will have the scrum. Not taken many balls on this side of the field, have they, Saints? Those bouncing balls going into touch. Um, a lot of knock ons. In a season when you never write off the comeback. I didn't think it was. It's going to take some great coaching at half time. Well, probably you, Robbie, but. Keep the door shut here, though, haven't they? I agree. Bristol attacking scrub. Just a few Saints have to survive this next 40 seconds. I think they might run the same play again. Okay, Zibatoya going to step up and run diagonally into the midfield and then Crouch. try and let Radrandra pick a hole. It's actually a little bit easier from this side because you haven't got the nine defensively chasing him. So you can make more ground. Brady's gone early, hasn't he? The other side. OK, nine. Randall uses Zibatoya. Oh, Randall again. Yeah, McGinty running into trouble. Yeah, they ran the option, didn't they? Faked him. Down by Dingwall. This is Vui now for Bristol. Yeah, thanks, Clock in the red at the end of this first half as Thacker tries his luck again. Uh, driven on very effectively on by Pieta. Randall gathers. Bradbury, shoulder to the wheel. Release, lads. McGinty looking for that short pop for Lua Tua. Now it comes. Ibitoye. Good acceleration from a standing start, and still the pressure builds from the Bears here. McGinty. Batley. Randrandra pops it over the top. Thacker gets it away. Space on the outside here. It's Piatau again. Surging forwards. <laughs> Johan Lloyd. Bears in dreamland. Piatau dictating terms. And the Bristol. Faithful, so grateful for their superstars tonight. It's the bonus point score with the clock deep in the red. It's brilliant, not just from Piertau, but Thacker and other guys had a great first half. Creates the three on one here, pulled out the bat. Randrandra does so well to get the ball over the top. And then the realization that Collins has stepped in on him. Thacker gives it out. Piatau's got an arrowhead against Hendy, the last man. Really good from Randrandra. Great spot from Thacker, lovely delivery. And Piatau has a man either side, uses the little hitch kick. Hendy steps back on him and he pops it up to Lloyd. It's just Bristol at their very, very best. What a rubbish try. Terrible first half, this from Bristol. This is the form of champions, not a side that's so far down the league. Just brilliant to watch, aren't they, in the back line? When they get some space. Ninth in the table, remember. Every game, a cup final, in the words of Pat Lamb. What a half of rugby for Bristol. They've got the bonus point already. Randall scored twice. Thacker and Lloyd have scored the others. But one man has stood head and shoulders above the rest tonight. 40 dazzling minutes from Charles Piatau. Stunning. Half time, Bristol 27, Northampton 3. How are we looking, Philip? Good question. In the season of comebacks. It is within the Northampton compass. We know they can score quick. And they've made a couple of changes at half time. Paul Hill and Alex Waller on at tight head and loose okay, head, lads. respectively, for Tiny, Alfie please. Petch on, and please. Ethan Waller. Um, we will not be seeing Alex Coles again. That is a permanent replacement as far as Carl Wilkins is concerned. And here's Bradbury for Bristol, who just felt like they were rediscovering themselves, their mojo, their confidence, and Piatau and Drandra combining to move them beyond the 22. Fitzharding has been absolutely immense, particularly in defence. He's made 22 tackles in that first half alone. 
absolutely extraordinary. And then Harry Thacker, who's in here with the uh, protection for Randall, another outstanding player on the night. Well, Thacker's made 16 tackles and eight carries. No, it's not. OK, thank you, Nan. We'll be choosing none of the match shots. It's easy. It's Pia Tau. <laughs> Taken by Hendy. He, in turn, is, uh, is trapped by Williams, who just holds him up sufficiently. And Northampton need to start building some momentum quickly. For their belief, if nothing else, Finn Smith to Hutchinson, to Collins, he might just spark it. Exceptional in the last couple of weeks. Advantage being played here for the Saints. Smith, oh, Salakai Lotto is met with a very oh, heavy one. tackle from Stephen Luatua. Not that it will count for a great deal on account of the advantage being played, but that was well timed, well measured, and very, very well executed. Sure. Some big shots coming in early on. Early on. Not sure McGinty could do a lot there. He was trapped underneath as the tackler. Oh, yeah. Thank you. kept it in. Inside. Sent downfield by Johan Lloyds. And a really good chase here as well. Bradbury to the fore, the putting some pressure advance. on Hendy. He's got distance on that and finds Randall. Pier Tau again. Yours. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think that left foot step's going to work again tonight? Works every time. He's going to have three people on him every single time he sees the ball, you would expect. Batley wrestling well, pops it up for Randall, throws the dummy again and heads through the hole, keeps it alive off the deck and Lahif is there. Picked up by Thacker, there are Bristol Bears everywhere. Piatau again, no look, Johan Lloyd's in. As you were. Bristol storming it at the start of the second half, just as they finish the first. It is a night of glory for Pat Lamb to this point. Oh, I hope they've done the lottery, all the Bristol players, because everything is working for them tonight. Absolutely brilliant. So many times that could have broken down, probably should have broken down. A little half break from Randall lifts it off the floor. They're keeping the ball alive. Lewitua misses it, Thacker picks up the bobble, and then it's just oh, picking off those last defenders. Out the back from Piertau. Out the back from Batley on the floor, little half show and go, gets half through, gets it off the floor. Lewitua misses it, Thacker picks it up. And then again, that three-on-one on, on the outside. Two out the back door and an easy run in. Even the bits that aren't quite working are working. They look good. Yeah. They're an outside bet, aren't they? They're a big outside bet. Well, they've got five points this evening so far. When they play like this, the speed of the rooks, just defensively, it's almost impossible, I'll show you. I mean, I don't know how you're supposed to defend Piatau and Radrandra and this guy when you've got a full defensive line, but just look at the defensive setup. This is before the dummy. He sells the dummy, goes through. Now everyone's got to back off. Again, the ball's kept alive. Another breakdown. They go to ground, they don't fall on it. And then this little offload at the back of the hand again. Just look at it. I mean, it's just defensively, what are you supposed to do? Who do you take? Do you leave him? Do you go tight? You've got to stay on. When they play like this, they look like world beaters. Oh, Thank you. Just what well, Northampton need. He did warn them, again. Ian Tempest, before yeah, the first kickoff. Kick I think they noted it in the first Scrum. half that Northampton was straying in front Scrum. of the kicker. He did Off say to Finn Smith, make sure your players are on side. It's not a penalty, nothing restart. <laughs> it's not. Well, that's a, a pretty <laughs> glum looking Phil Dowson, as you can well understand. But there is some class on show here tonight, that's for sure. And it is it is probably just one of those occasions, isn't it, when you just have to sit back and admire the work of some very, very special individuals. And Charles Piatau is certainly that. You know, and Lloyd has a burgeoning reputation himself. But this man... 18, pre engage 18. Touched by the gods. Ibatoya now gathering a 30 metre skip pass and driving to the 10 metre line. 
Jan Thomas. He's going to try his luck with the dummy. Randall. Harding. Williams. McGinty. Vui just waiting for Randrandra to race onto it. Lahif carries hard. Saints competing, but unable to get over it. Randrandra pops it to Vui. McGinty to Harding. Just rides the challenge, and Jan Thomas is the vehicle for James Williams. Lahif. Bit of patience here from Bristol. Uh, Luatua's got himself out of the challenge of Dingwall. Batley. Picked up by McGinty. Williams. Harding. Scampering forwards. This is Bradbury. Tackled by Skosan, picked up by Thacker, and Hendy is there. A good intervention from the fullback because there was another man on that outside in Ibitoye just lurking dangerously, and Bristol's still moving it. Jan Thomas is close, it's gone. I thought it for a minute might have gone forwards. There's an advantage being played to Bristol here. Harding again kept alive quite brilliantly, and Pierre Tau sucking in those defenders. No advantage. Well, the danger when you're playing no rug rugby and you're getting every offload away is when someone does need to carry into contact, everyone's hanging off them looking for the offload and you don't right. win the ball Same and you leave yourself ball, open. Harry Thacker, perfect technique. Loads of times in there, Bristol went back to concentrating on making sure their rucking game was good. They kept hold of it, which means they can then regenerate the opportunities to get that offloading game going. That really well. smart from Bristol. James Williams thumps it to within five. No Scored his first Premiership try last okay. week against Bath off the back of the, the Randrandra brilliance. Enjoying his spell in the Premiership, having been picked up from Hartbury in the Championship. Well, it doesn't really need too much explaining that, does it? They've only been in the red zone four times. The Saints, no points. Good conversion, though, from Bristol, as we can see on the scoreboard. I think the, the Bristol just, red zone actually is just the Saints' half today. I was just... Okay. Just have a little bit of a think about Time James on. Williams right now, playing with Harry Randall, Semi Randrandra, Charles Piatau, Johan Lloyd. There are so many ballers around him, and he's come from the Championship to the big time. What, what a pleasure that must be at the moment. First defense and knock you just, on you need Blue good balance the in the back line. You can't have just Scrum, brilliant on. steppers. You've got to have people that do some of the hard nice yards as well. I'm not saying Scrum, Redrander doesn't do hard yards. He'll carry into contact better than most, but back lines are always about a good look, a good balance. And this, the centre partnerships have always been, the good ones have always had a good carrier at 12 and someone with a bit of wheels at 13. Fortunately, outside of that, they've got some of the best stepping uh, backs we've ever seen play the game. What a great story it is, James Williams. A season at Worcester, season at Sale, didn't really settle in either. There's some brilliant talent out there, Ali, that just sometimes don't get the chance, they don't get the rub of the green, they don't get the opportunity, and their careers are different, sliding doors. Callum, it's not going anywhere, Callum! Pressure at the base, but um, picked up by Graham and taken onwards by Dingwall. Phil Dowson will just want to be seeing a little bit of dog here from his Northampton side after a proper battering. Defensively, again, it's been a problem. They haven't been scoring the tries they usually do. There's not much you can do about some of it, but I think no, right down in, please. as low as they would have been with their tackle success in this game. The, um, the attacking stats for Northampton would tell you that they are the sharpest side in the league. 63, 63 tries scored in 
in this Premiership season, but none here today. And that, as much as anything, I'm quite sure will really please Pat Lamb. Come up a bit since the half-time break. They're back up to 84. They're in the 70s before. Here's a bit toy. Slides it to Piertau. McGinty. Brandon. Williams running the dummy line. It's Harding who carries into Alex Waller. And oh. Chris Bowie gallops forwards and touches down for Bristol's sixth of the evening. So, so difficult. The referee just wants to check that he was the last man. I think he was. I don't think there was many there because Saints have stopped competing as hard at the breakdown because they want to get maximum bodies on their feet spread out across the field so they can mark the spaces that the likes of Piertau and Randrandra have been running into. But he is the last man. There, the pick. Perfect. Nothing wrong with that. Yeah, it's just Sam Graham, isn't it? Takes his eyes off him, doesn't think he's going to pick up the ball. It's very clever, isn't it? That's very clever from Bowie, given that his body position is very suggestive of a man who's just going to be part of the ruck. It looks for all money like that's Randall's ball. But they've realised, and Bowie has realised, that Northampton aren't competing at the breakdown. They're not putting anyone there trying to get maximum width, maximum bodies on their feet. As a result, the best place to attack straight through the middle. Everyone thinking about getting off the line, getting their line speed, stopping the ball, getting into the wide channels apart from Vui. And it looks so simple. There's nothing wrong with that at all. Is he going to say he's offside? He's not bound. So just freeze that when he picks it up, Rosie. That's our best angle. Yeah, we're just going to freeze it here for you now, Tempo. Did he come so in from the side? Well, it's... It, <coughs> yeah. And I'm looking for compelling evidence to overrule the on-field decision. Well, that's the best shot there, okay, Tim, mate. that we can see there well, on the okay. screen. I can't see compelling evidence to overrule that. It's clearly beyond that back foot. So I'm going to stick with the on-field decision. Yeah, that's this perfectly right, mate. In front of that back foot. Yeah. It's not a rock, it's a tackle. It's going to try the stand. Try stands. <laughs> Ian Tempest. <laughs> requiring compelling evidence to overrule that on-field decision. And Chris Bowie has his first of the night, and Bristol extend their advantage. They're now into the 40s. Yes, there's, there's not one there, mate. So I think it's in body shape, as Ben says. If you look at it from behind the post, it just it makes it more obvious. It's really difficult. Graham looks like he's got him there, but the fact that he shapes the wrong way and then he steps forwards through the rook just gives him the space. Clever play, look. At no stage, though, does Sam Graham actually just get in front of him. All he's got to do is get in front of him and bump him a little. Even if Graham had tackled him, Randall was right on his yeah. shoulder. He would have scampered over. Half an hour for Northampton to salvage something from this wreckage. And there'll be Saints fans at home, and rightly so, thinking, well... What if we'd have had Freeman back and Mitchell and Ribbons? And why should Harlequins get Marcus Smith and we can't have our players back? There's, there's going to be a, a lot of unhappy Saints fans because they've taken a kick in tonight. It's probably something that needs to be clarified, is it? Yeah. Not in the new PGA agreement between the RFU and the clubs about release. Real clarity about the stipulations surrounding release. As you mentioned, the, the likes, particularly of Freeman and Ribbons, who haven't played a minute of the Six Nations to this point, and kept back to hold tackle bags for Steve Borthwick's men. Bristol now on the attack again through McGinty, who's oh. floating a beautiful ball out to Johan Lloyd. What has been so good to watch, apart from that penalty, is the change of angles from Bristol this evening. You know, you would be kids at home watching, just watch the change of angles from them. It's so difficult defensively then to get any hits on. Let's talk to Pat Lamb about that, director of rugby with the Bristol Bears. Pat, um, let's, let's deal with, the, with a little bit of minutiae to start with, quite a bit to ask you about, really. But that change of angles, is that something that is heavily coached? Is it instinct? How do you work it? No, it's, um, again, working in connection, so guys working through his pairs and, you know, everything, running lines and, and being a threat at the line is massive. You can run patterns, we don't talk, we, you know, when you set up the structure, it's, it's all about manipulating the D. 
and uh, but you've got to work in small groups. My goodness, everything is working tonight for you. Fits hard in gathering that line-out ball, and the offloads are sticking. Your superstars are tearing up the pitch. Here they come again. Randranger is on the ball. Stick with us, Pat, if you wouldn't mind, while we see how this attack plays out. Randall swiftly into position. McGinty threaded onwards by Williams and touches found. So, Pat, we've just been enthralled by the rugby that Bristol have been playing tonight. Did you see this coming? Everything seems to be slotting into place. As I said to you guys last week, this is the time of the year that I like, and uh, we've done a lot of work behind the scenes, and it's been pretty stop-start in the Premiership, but we've been working away and building our game, and, and the things that people don't see, you know, the, the quality of our breakdown work, our lines and angles to get momentum on our carries, um, and we're really disappointed what happened last week in the wide channels, and uh, we talked about... You know, at the moment, we've been putting a lot of kicks through and so forth uh, in the past, but we see just dominate that area and then that, use it as a launch pad for the other guys. So, um, But probably the biggest thing I'm pleased about is the defence. So we, we didn't kick the ball out twice and we, we didn't plan on doing that because they're dangerous. But we, we defended a couple of two-minute blocks yeah. plus blocks and uh, that was phenomenal. Uh, in, in, in our fires. In that first 10 minutes particular, some of the tackles were immense and on the line as well, but you've just taken Charles Piertow off. Has he not done enough for you this evening? Yeah, I think that's enough for him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just, just feeling his legs just slightly, so um, no, we, we, we have the luxury at the moment of doing this, but we spoke at half-time. If anything about Saints, they want the ball, so we spoke about who has the ball is crucial in the right places, and the challenge for us, but then we say, good, see, the, these are the sort of things we talked about there. Let's, let's not give up this this is what they want, so great challenge for us as a team to be disciplined, to look after ball and, and control position. Uh, Pat, just one last one on Charles Piertau. The provision for Harry Randall, for that first score of Randall's, was just exceptional. I, I know you've paid tribute to him many, many times, but obviously he'll be, he'll be leaving the Premiership at the end of this season. We're going to miss him an awful lot when he can put that sort of display on, aren't we? Well, I see that at the beginning, bringing these guys in here. Here comes, um, uh, here comes Collins. He's released Hinkley only just onto the field. Great tackle made by Ibitoy, but Hendy oh. touches down for Northampton. And Ian Tempest blows the whistle for the score. Northampton have something. Finally, it's taken them 55 minutes, but they do have their first try of the night. Sorry, Pat. No problem at all. That's uh, disappointing there. That's I think the, the thing I was going to say there is... Yeah, we spoke earlier about Semi and Charles. Uh, we said it's a privilege to them being the Bears, but it's been a privilege to have them in the Premiership as well. I think that, that that's what the whole thing when we, when we brought them, that uh, it, it just raises the level of the Premiership. Thanks so much for your time, Pat. Appreciate it. Yes, thank thank you. Check these legs. The linesman said the legs were in the air when the ball was passed. And he's right. He is right. It's a really nice piece of play by Saints, actually. Collins so, through the middle just... and then a lovely pass over the top. I want to check it. It was close. It does... That right foot does nearly get back down. It would be overwhelming yes, proof to... Looking at a forward pass here for the oh, last pass. Oh, hang on, that's the forward pass base. he wants to look at. So you're going to show me a clear forward pass? Yeah, here we go, Tempo. <coughs> so tackle there, the ball comes forward out of his hands, the man goes forward there and he takes it in front. Does it go <laughs> backwards? Does he? Uh, He's to get it. No, no, That's I'll close. I'm looking, at. I'm looking at the potential forward pass. Can we go back to the line, please? Show you again, Tempo. <clears throat> it doesn't go back, it goes forward. There. <coughs> He's right. It goes forward, Tempo. It, out of the hands of the... the, the to 15. One more view, please. This is, this is the best angle, Tempo, there. It goes forward there. See the ball goes forward, he catches it in front of where the number 20 passes it. <laughs> okay, Rosie, one more, one more view because we're not clear on pitch. It's a clear forward pass to a real on field decision. So, one more view, please, mate. He's on field at the moment. I try, I don't see that as compelling. So, one more view and we'll make our decision, please. Right, this slightly wider angle, wasn't it? That was more <laughs> this one this here. This one here. So, the ball goes forward from his hands. Doesn't go backwards, goes forward here. They take it in front of where he passes in. Rosie, I'm not seeing that's clearly forward, so that's on me. I see momentum, okay. everyone going forward, I'm sticking with the try. Okay, try. so David Rose is unequivocal. Ian Tempest. 
decided that the score was good on account of the fact that he ruled it a try at the time. He didn't see that as compelling evidence, so the try stands, and George Hendy has his first Premiership try. And Northampton have a kick here to move into double figures. And it's going to move across the face of the post. 41 points to eight. Well, we've seen some some very special comebacks in our time, but I, <laughs> even I, would suggest this might be beyond Saints' reach. But who knows? Uh, well, absolutely. But what Saints will be saying is, while Bristol are playing free-flowing, throw the ball about rugby, we can nick a bonus point here. And they will be going for that fourth try. Great piece of skill from Collins to begin with, wasn't it? Yep. Step, acceleration through the middle, and at full tilt, throws the ball 25 metres absolutely on the button. Nice try from Saints. I think the officials there, people at home will be going, well, hold on a sec, someone's saying it's forward, someone's saying it's not. Ref's in charge. Yep. Yep, that much is clear. Smith. Hendy got it away. Hutchinson. Bradbury on hand to bring him down and Paul Hill good work in the close quarters Brayley trying to make a little bit of space for himself he's just handed the ball straight back to Ibitoye I think he was expecting a penalty for being checked wasn't he for as he picked it up Bristol have had a lot of joy in that five metre channel Rundrandra <laughs> is away Semi Rundrandra to Randall, back to his feet. <laughs> Terrific drive, great work from Chris Vui in support there. <laughs> Harding. <laughs> Luatua. <laughs> and Bristol <laughs> have the advantage <laughs> again. Ryan Byrne is with us. Oh, Andy Yuren is working it. And back they come. Well, once again, the threats all over the park. It's just his acceleration round Drander, isn't it? Gets half round and then there puts the foot down, just gets a soft arm tackle and that drags the defender that might have had a chance of marking Randall in to make the tackle on him, keeps the ball free, keeps it alive. Randall gets tackled, gets back Sorry, to his feet, changes his Left direction again, so he's a moving target. Same the line. Into Four the corner, line, okay. go over a stall. It's just adding another fascinating plot line to our season, isn't it? Can Bristol sustain this sort of brilliance through the next few weeks as one would expect the grounds to firm up and this sort of rugby to emanate still further from these parts. Batley again, ever present in the loose. Luatua, who was on pretty early, out from Randall again and they go through once more. Over this time through George Koska. Oh, this is simple. This is a case of winning your collisions and getting really fast ball. So you beat the opposition around the corner. If they're having to retreat and you're running onto it, you're always going to have the upper hand and the dominance in the carry. Just watch. First player, Batley, wins the collision. Quick ball. Second player, Luatua, wins the collision. Quick ball. Third player, he's just got to pick a hole between two players and go over. All the tempo. Just basic. We've seen some really extravagant stuff tonight, but this is rugby at its most basic form. Good lines and uh, efficiency from Kloska, the former hooker who's converted to tight head over the last year or two. James Williams adds two, Austin. I think the key to it has been said it's working harder in attack than they are in defence. You've got two runners here, two forwards coming around the corner. All they're doing is getting either side of one defender, but it takes the right pass. 
and that pass to Randall is absolutely on the money. Across the body of the first guy, into the second ball carrier. And like you said, Klozak, Koska goes over for the try. He's sort of, if you think about Randall, he's a little bit like the barometer of Bristol, isn't he? He's taken his knock, so he had the England shirt, then he lost the shirt, obviously he must have knocked his confidence a bit. He had to fight with Jorin for the nine shirt, wasn't the first pick, then he is, now he's captain. When he's on his money, he is a very, very good scrum half. And we're starting to see him come back to some of his best form now. Here they come again. Luatua. Striding forwards and Bradbury stopped just inside his own half. Randrandra thought about the pick through the middle, leaves it there and it's threaded on its way. Very well taken by Brayley. Settings out the 10. Out the 10. Randrandra. Good work from Fraser Dingwall, snuffing that out straight away. Williams to Bradbury. Here's Brian Byrne. Yes. He's getting a bit tired now, Randall, though. He's a bit late to that rook. They've got Joran on the far side. Bedlow's got it away to Randrandra. Bedlow on for AJ McGinty. Ivatoy, just in total control at the moment, Bristol, aren't they, of, uh, of everything they're doing. And even balls like that are working out for them. Harding slithers forwards, and that was left hanging, taken in by Byrne. I wasn't sure if we played on. You're wasn't in. Sure. So Smith, Smith, got it away to Collins. Lovely from Collins, brilliant acceleration, he's gone round Williams and he might go round Uren. Tom Collins could do with some support now. One of the few bright sparks for Northampton this evening, Tom Collins. Hutchinson to Hendy. Just tries to straighten. Still in, still in. Salakai Lotto for Angus Scott Young. Brayley working with some quick ball here, just trying to stretch this Away. Bristol defence again. Go, Green. Brayley having to search quite hard, and Bristol doing a good job of slowing up that possession for the most part. Until now, Brayley again, the door shut by Harding. Good counter. So many phases inside the 22. Good counter. No, do you go back? There's a legal counter. And Hinkley. Once again, it's Harding who does the tackling. Great little chop tackle there, wasn't it? Just as Hinkley thought he might get away. It's a, a great defensive effort, this. Northampton just struggling to puncture the line. Hill. Lays it back. Scott Young is left out. Hutchinson pulls it back. Smith. Escosa. Hendy, Hinkley, driven back a metre or two here by Bristol. Come off, come off, come off, come off, come off. tackle first. It's Harding has to give it up. Wilkins. And the penalty's gone there. Bristol's way. So much endeavour in defence. Pat Lamb isolated it pretty much. He spoke to us about it during the game. It has been the big work on for the yeah. Bears, and it has shown this evening. He'll be delighted. That's 50 phases in their own red zone okay, that they've defended. For... Only for one try. Oscar, isn't it? The try scorer just uses his right arm to latch on to the tackled player on the floor while his left arm attacks the ball and under pressure. Yeah. The clear outs on the head and Bristol relieve all that pressure. Yeah, look, there's the stats. That's a lot of phases to only concede five points. Maybe the man of match should go to someone from the defensive point of view from Bristol. Nah. Tom Litchfield is on. He's 
replaced Fraser Dingwall. You complete Harry or just no, wait, wait. Change his time's Finn off. Smith has been removed. Right, you're on the line, so step over. So James Grayson is on. Tom Cruise has replaced Carl Wilkins, Thank you. who himself was a replacement. Okay, and we've got a new scrum half in in Jake Garside as well. Made his premiership debut last weekend. The 20-year-old been playing for Bedford in the championship. He's replaced Brayley, but this is Bristol ball. Collins. Alex Moon just have not got into their rhythm on the carrying front at all. Cruz to Salakai Lotto, thumps it on it, sway and picked up by Randall. Ibatoye looking for a potential 50-22, not enough of an angle on it. Hendy seemingly caught in a couple of mines and then getting it away. Did well there, Hendy. Got trapped in the corner but fought his way out. Release tackle! Scott Young, again taken low by Vui. Garside, a chip from Grayson, gathered in by Johan Lloyd, trying to show off his left foot step, and it's a pretty decent one. Driven forwards so well by Bedloe, and that's brilliant. No more deserving man on the field for Bristol tonight than Fitz Harding. 50 up. For the first time in the Premiership for Bristol, it is an absolute battering. Well, just everything has gone right for them, hasn't it? And they've maximised their opportunities. Brilliant from Bedlow. Straight ends, good bit of footwork there. They set up their shape really well, and Bedlow just steps back against the grain, kicks himself out of the contact. And then, as you'd expect, Harding right in support. Lovely little right foot step. Gets the fend out on the new man, Garside. Nothing Garside can do to get back and tackle Harding before he slides in. Worthy. Oh. Oh, just going to say, what a worthy try scorer. In terms of work right defensively without the ball, carrying, going forward. You know, on any normals Friday night. I think he's broken the, our fruit machine he here, has. which tells us the tackle count because it, it was backwards. It was at 22. It's now at 21, but he's. I mean, I've seen him make at least another 10 in the last 28 minutes or so. Yeah, it's really good attack. But it, again, it all comes from fast rub ball. If you get fast rub ball, you can't get your first defenders in place. You can't get any line speed. You end up going backwards, and then you end up behind your posts. Backwards. And they're at it again. This time through the hook of Burn. Pops it on its way. Once again, they're using that width so cleverly. Batley for Randrandra has a little look. Brings in Kloska. And Ashton Gate finding its voice. Randrandra to Lloyd. <laughs> He's been taking lessons. Good tackle by Collins, that. From the master. Vui. And Bedlow. Batley. Chugging forwards. Advantage. Off feet. Penalty advantage. Paul Hill off his feet. And Chris Vui seems ready to cling on to that until the whistle is blown. Off feet. Just to, uh, just to clarify, Bristol have scored 50 in the Premiership before, just not at home. It was Bedford in the year 2000 that they clocked 50 points. But, get, uh, get 60 at this right if they kick to the corner. There was a little break there, Vittoria was actually through, they would have had 60 already. Madrandra picked the wrong pass coming across the field, but on the line like that. the overcritical of <laughs> their on back the play this evening it would be madness, wouldn't it? On the line. No one in front. I'd love to see Harry Randall's GPS stats tonight. He, as I said, he's out on his feet. He's had to chase everything. Maybe 
Chris Vu, he just saw that, and that's why he slowed it down, oh, didn't want to play oh, any more advantage. Hold, wait, wait, down by Blue. One nine, one, down Bristol by Blue. Bristol have been thwarted by their by own Blue. man here, seemingly. Use Batley's it, gone to ground, and it. that's why Byrne can't move forwards yet. He extends the arms as he sets it up for Randall. Throws the dummy and has another go. You'll have to drag him from the pitch tonight, Harry Randall. Matavesi makes the tackle this time, though. Not going to go it twice, is he? Heenan with the latest carry. And Vui. Harding. Soft shoulders in and around the rock here, seemingly. Bristol making hay again. Randall. Bradbury. Ibatoi in close support, they're playing with an advantage again. Harding waits. <coughs> Burn. Shut down early this time by Paul Hill. Vandrandra. Short little Backwards. offload and then slung backwards by Kloska and Drandra taking the scenic route. Euron is caught. Still got him. See if anything happens. And driven Away. well back behind the gain line with this advantage, but quite happy to play onwards. And Williams is not too far away again. Maybe the gritty stuff. We'll get it done here. Bowie is stopped just I've got short, up. is he? Come back to the advantage. 22, no arms. That's held up. Come back. 22, no arms. Would have been a drop out on the own line, but wouldn't mind seeing this tackle on Bowie again. If there's any arms in it, as he picks and goes. That's what the initial penalty's for. Same as them lads. We keep giving them away, so we'll go to the bin. That's all right. Isn't yeah. It? It's a, another one of those situations where you, you wonder what on earth the defenders are supposed to do. Time off, yeah. Sir. Yeah, no worries. It was good defence from Saints. Yeah, they had no Time one. Off. There's no foul, no foul yeah, play yeah. in that, mate, at all. OK, thanks, Rosie. It's your penalty, just in 15, there's no foul play. Oh, interesting what they do here from the line. The ball hasn't gone particularly well for it's them. It doesn't like have needed to at all. No worries, it will be HIF. What they do off it. It's going to be, a Might be more so important, but they'll want to have it. There'll be some of those forwards that will want to prove that when the backs aren't playing as well as this, when okay, the offloading game is not going as well as this, they can still pick up those five pointers when necessary from the ball. And a head injury assessment for Chris Vui means a return to the field for Harry Thacker. Is he going to jump in the line? <laughs> It's one of those nights when the team's going so well, you just don't want to leave the field. Do not take me off. Burn. Shape left, headed right. Bradbury carries. Back they go the other way. There's Batley on the carry. Harding. Once again, the offside line breached by Northampton. Advantage being played. Bradbury. Muscling his way towards the line as he grounded it. It's another penalty, though, if it's I've not. I've got his double movements. I will check him. Rosie, tempo, quick check, please. OK, mate. I've got him static, short of the line, and then propels with the knees. So on-field decisions, no try. We'll have a quick look. If not, I've got an offside number 20. Okay, if he mate, just places it, it's OK. Up, mate, he can't make another movement of his body. First, first shot here, tempo. Yeah. He's short there. Goes back to his knees, he's sort of pushing, isn't he? Is he allowed to reach the place? <laughs> can see why the referee thought he used his knees, but does he actually move? I, I'm not sure the knee... I, I know he uh, attempted it, Tackles I'm not sure they do anything tempers. for him. Yeah, we need to look at the angle from the other side tempo to see his knees move before we do anything here, mate. OK, no problems, mate. This is the one here, tempo. Yeah. So he's down that there, left that knee, knee comes there forward, comes but, up, but he doesn't stays on move. the ground. 
Show me that angle again, mate. That's the last one. We need to be static before the line. If he's static before the line, he then can't propel himself with the knee, OK? So this is the angle that's going to determine it, We're just going, to, just going to bring it back a bit for your tempo. Just bear with me, mate. So he's coming on from here now, yeah. mate. So tackle. No, Rosie, I'm not happy with that left knee. There is a propel, a second go again, and then he places out. So there's no try. Okay, Number mate. 20 is offside. You're going the bin. Too many penalties down here. Off you go. A yellow card as well for no Will Patton. Propel with the knee, and, and then Aaron place. Hinkley. It's over here. Stalks off to the touchline for the rest of the match. Time on. Taken quickly. Randall fires it onwards. Jake Keenan for Bristol. They have nine tonight. And that is their highest ever score in a Premiership match. Just been a reaction. As soon as the referee blows his whistle to put time on, he's got to be set ready. Northampton, a little bit punch drunk, maybe. Big gap there. Randall's been eyeing up on his way to the mark where the space is in that defensive line. Takes it facing the other way and immediately spins back towards this side and Heaton runs a hard cut against defenders all running and love that on the same wavelength another two added by James Williams Northampton playing with 14 men and Harry Randall operating at a faster pace to everybody else around him Advantage, knock on. The tail of the tape for the Bristol Bears in the top flight. Set forwards here by Litchfield of Northampton. Ivitoye from the 22. He surely will have a little crack from here. Garside is shadowing him. And then he's brought down by Hill. Uren. Keep going with your foot. Leave him. It's coming. It's not. He's not going. Thanks. Off yard. Oz. Yeah, just looking back at the try, you may have thought it was off the cuff, but Ina knew it was coming. Look at him in the backfield. He just signals to his teammates, he goes, look, I'm coming. And he tells the two of them to come with him. It's pre-called. They do really well. Clever play. OK, they're up on 50 points, 62 now, but it's good. Taking teams by surprise gets you scores, regardless of what you've already got on the chart. Own player, well, own player. As we've been discussing, the, the significant bit from all of this is the sort of confidence that will flow through the squad as a whole off the back of it as they head for their run in. Quinns are next up for Bristol here. Leicester away, Sale at home, Exeter away, Gloucester at home. That's the run in for Bristol. Were one or two question marks on account of their last two victories because of course they've beaten the bottom two sides in the league so a little bit hard to evaluate at that point but not not difficult to evaluate after this evening you would think even even facing a, a depleted Northampton team this is a, a very impressive display Garside for Northampton. Okay. Tackle in the midfield from Bedlow. Stop now. Angus Scott Young. One of those who's been there from the word go, working hard. And Collins, who's injected the zip whenever it has come from Northampton. Salakai Lotto. Unable to affect things too much tonight. Litchfield, powerful presence in the midfield. Garside, will pop pass, and that Thacker ball has been it. stolen by Thacker, who read it so well. And Harry Randall lets fly. Hendy thinking about the quick one, thinking otherwise as they are playing 
with only 14 men. Time for man of the match, well, Austin. A horrible Rich night to pick it because there's been some standout Rich performances. Harry Thack has been sensational. <laughs> Harding's work right and try, brilliant. He's controlled proceedings from behind the scrum, Harry Randall. But for sublime brilliance, you have to give it to Charles Pieter. And he's our Gallagher Premiership man of the match. Best left foot step in the world? I think so. Stella tonight. An artist at work, really. In the tackle for me, so advantage not on. Advantage Space on the outside here for Skosan of Northampton. Yeah, it was, mate. And on the bounce. And it's a touch inside the 22. Only played 50 minutes. Oh, it's too hard. Okay, there you go, lads. Saints, please. Well, a reminder that he won't be playing in the Premiership next season. Destination unknown. Sec, Max bro, Malins will be occupying struggling. that 15 second. shirt if he has well, his way. Place. But he has just lit the place up, Time's hasn't off. he, in his time both with, uh, with Wasps and with Bristol. Record number of Premiership appearances at fullback for the Bears. And tonight, a real, a real privilege to watch him. Thanks. He's on his way, hey. That's fine, mate. Last knockings here, and it looks as if uh, Joe Batley is going to be limping off. Oh, he's very he's unhappy very about that, hasn't he? Yeah, Sorry. terrific. Really nice um, little touches on the ball, aside from his day job. There's no one in a Bristol shirt who hasn't had a very good game, is there? Burn. Picks Ball. out Fritz Harding. Stay there. Don't change out. Don't change, you're fine. And One the last Bristol. knockings. As it stands, this is Bristol's biggest ever Premiership win. It is simultaneously Northampton's biggest ever Premiership defeat. Out. Full on. Full on. Out. You're in for Randrandra. Yeah, use it. No. Final minute okay, five seconds. for some Thank weary you. men. <laughs> Onside. OK, thank you, Nine, use it. You're in. Happy to play this down. Happy to work the clock. Kloska, one of the nine try scorers this evening. And a pod of forwards ready to do the carrying, ready to do the zigzagging. And again, and again. Okay, use it, five seconds. One more carry for Harding. Uren is getting tied into the ruck here, so Randall will assist. That's just a good counter. Use it. And one more phase will probably do it. Thacker with the carry. Harry Randall fittingly draws proceedings to a close on a record-breaking night at Ashton Gate. A night in which you are prompted to question whether the Bears are now out of hibernation. All things remain possible. Hugely significant win this evening. Nine tries, their biggest ever win in the Premiership. And in the words of Pat Lamb, don't look down. Full time at Ashton Gate. Bristol 62.